sister, are you? Your sister. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. What's up, guys and girls? This is Kukko Seba, and we're back for more Neo Kuni 2. In the last episode, we ran into Magnastar's minions while finding a way to escape the castle. We managed to have help from Evan's personal bodyguard, Neva, who helped us and figure out to escape Mouse Scar's pretty much assassination plan or whatever. So today we'll continue where we left off. So let's head out to the Secret Patches Way and escape the castle. Who's that right there? Who is that? That better not be a rat person again. Oh, it's a dog thing, lady. Your Majesty, you're all right. Hmm. Yes, thanks to Neva and Roland. Huh. No signs of fighting around here. Yeah. Mouse Scar's main target appears to have been His Majesty. This part of the castle is far away enough for the royal chambers to have escaped his attention. Those of us who are injured and unable to fight have been gathered here for safety. I think the soldiers probably know we're here, but there's no way out, so they have us where they want us regardless. We're as good as prisoners. Oh my! Then I mustn't stay long. If I do, I will be putting you all in danger. Your Majesty. I don't know if these will be any use to you, but I would like you to have them. You obtain five pots of Soraway. Thanks. Thank you very much. If you're not sure how to apply herbs of this kind, just come and speak with me. It's simple enough. We will. Thanks again. All right. Uh, let's not talk to her. Let's talk to these people. I heard that almost all the castle guards have been captured already. We've been lucky so far, but we'll be thrown into the cells at some point too. I shouldn't wonder. Yeah. Both of we Grimalek guards were <coughs> taken unawares. We're the only ones left. So are you a cat thing then? How about you? Hmm. Ugh, ow. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have eaten a nice big fish supper. Ugh. Enough of the fish already. This way. No, this is not in party. Hmm. Alright. Rolling, rolling. <gasps> What's that? Hide quickly. Who was that? Now no. it's the Black Knight. If he's on a plow, we can't very well go running blinding around the palace. We have to stay here while and keep watch. But who is the Black Knight? He's Dark Vader's cousin, Rowan. Hmm. Whoever he is, I don't much like the look of him. He is Mousegar's most trusted and most sedim seen underling. Very little is known about him, but it is rumored that he gained great power through the use of forbidden magics. Wherever the truth of such tells, one thing is certain. If we face him, we will die. Oh! You mean not even you can beat him, Nevo? Then we need to doubly careful not to draw his attention. Hmm. Yes, yes we will. We can start by making you a less, a little less compiers. Huh. 
Huh? Yeah, what? Say. You look the same, just different clothes, Roland. You attain a guard great coat. Oh! Oh, yes, it suits you very well. <laughs> you should count yourself lucky there was something in your size. Oh, and you be needing this. I noticed that you don't have one already. What is it? It's a ring, dude. It's a ring. It's called an arms ban. It for storing and transporting weapons. It allows the wielder to carry a variety of weapons with them and to call on any special skills with which they are imbued. Wow. Wow, this little thing does all that? Now. That sword goes, unless you equip it to your armband, you won't be able to call on its full potential. I'm going to hand you another one. You need to equip that as well. We attain a broadsword. Alright, so both swords need to be equipped to the armband. Got it. Do you have any other weapons? Well, there's my pistol, but I'm pretty sure it's out of ammo. Not to worry, weapons equipped to armbands will have their ammunition replenished automatically. Uh, they? They will? But, wow. Yes! Unlimited bullets! Broken game right there, folks. Mm -hmm. Very good. I would suggest that you equip your swords and pistols to your arms band right away. Alright. The equipment and skill menu. The equipment skill menu can be accessed from the main menu. On the main weapon tab, you can equip up to three main weapons to your arms band, allowing you to switch between them in battle. Only one ranged weapon can be equipped. On the power tab, you can equip various clothes, armors, footwear, accessories, that will affect your party memories, physical, and magical defenses. On the skill tab, you can assign spells, abilities your party members have learned to skill panic, allowing you to access them quickly and effectively during battle. Alright, let's do that. Let's go to equipment skills. Character parameters. Each character has five nominators permit which can indicate their various strengths and Appetites. Man attack strength tells you how powerful any attacks abilities using cross range weapons will be. Range attack strength tells you how powerful any attacks and abilities using long range weapons will be. Magical attack strength tells you how powerful any magical attacks and abilities will be. Physical defense. Tells you how resistant that a character will be to physical attacks, which will affect how much damage they take. And lastly, magical defense tells you how resistant that character will be to magical attacks, which will also affect how much damage they take. Parameters are calculated based on a character's natural stats plus those of their equipment. Not all weapons can be used by everyone, but armors and accessories can. Alright. Quick broadsword and this sword, and let's equip our pistol or yeah, pistol. Is that it? Guess that's everything. All right. Whoops. Switching weapons. When you have multiple main weapons equipped to the armband, you can switch them with the L2. There are various reasons why you might want to switch weapons, but the main aim is to try and always use one whose zing gauge is close to 100% as possible. Your weapon's zing gauge are displayed next to them in the top left of the screen and will gradually fill as you land blows on enemies. You can choose between these three settings which will govern how weapon switching is performed. Manually, semi-automatic, which is default setting or automatic. In ma manual mode, you will need to press L2 every time you need to switch weapons. This mode aims at advanced players who wants maximum control. In semi 
on mech mode, you will automatically switch to a weapon with high attack power or zing effect after a skill is used. But will also have the ability to switch on manually. In on mech mode, you will be you will be unable to switch manually, but can be sure that you are always using a weapon with high attack power or zing. This can be helpful for beginners. Your weapon switching getting can be changed in the equipment skill menu and also be pressing the option button in battle. Find a setting which best suits your style. There are a few more details to do with how the zing system works that will also need to be explained but this can wait until you learn some skills. Alright, let's go talk to Nella. Nella. Alright, that's everything equipped to your arms band. Equipping multiple weapons to the band will allow you to switch between them quick and easily and in the middle of the battle. So if you happen to come across any more, be sure to put them on there. Thanks. Thanks, I will. Evan, this is for you. You think Elwin's assist? Gosh! What is this, Nella? It's not exactly the best quality, but it's all I could throw them together at the short notice. It should be enough to help you get by for now. I put an arms band in there for you too. As long as I'm with you, I'll try to see that you don't need to use it. But if anything does happen, I need you to promise me that you'll stand up for yourself. Even. You cannot give up. Do you hear me? Mm. Of course, Nella. Wave stones. Nobody knows who put them there or when, but the mysterious stones, momentum known as wave stones, can be found all over the world. Simply examine one is enough to restore all your HP, MP, and to heal any status enemies you're suffering from. And off amazing price of absolutely nothing. They will also allow you to save in location when it's not possible to do so by the main menu. So if you see one, be sure to go up and take a look. Alright. Alright, folks, we'll probably end it here for today and continue with the next episode in the next video. So don't forget to drop a like, continue to follow my channel, and I'll see you next time. Laters.